And then the product that actually helped me quit my job was a gear shift keychain. And that product got me to $1,000 a day in revenue. You didn't design anything. No, right? I didn't design anything. You don't anything. have a brand name. I don't no, no. You don't have a trademark, but you haven't talked to suppliers. Nope. You can't even confirm that they have in stock or that they'll drop ship for you. And you put up a store and you start selling. And we're just okay. cranking that up. We're like, let's sell more of it. But how long did that product keep making you money? Like 60 days. <laughs> 60 days. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I was calling my mom, I was like, hey, can I borrow some money? It's <laughs> not just was, your mom. I was, I was, I was, I was, this is the Aaron Cordovez Show. All right, guys. Uh, today I have two spectacular and great looking guests. Leo Isiano and Miss Margarita, who are huge in the e-commerce space, and they happen to live right here. We met at SellerCon, and guys, I'm super happy to have you here in the studio, and uh, let's talk some business. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Absolutely. So guys, maybe just let's start off with your story. Like, how did you even think of getting involved in online business, you know, online sales? What was like that first step that you guys said, we're going to, you know, try this thing? Gotcha. Okay, well, Leo started first, so yeah. you can go ahead and tell your story. So, yeah, like, I just wanted to make money. Like, that was it. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> like every single college broke student was like, you know what? How to make money online. Mm -hmm. And then I got an ad in a guy in a Lamborghini, and he was like, drop shipping. And I was like, drop shipping? He's like, yeah, drop shipping. And I was like, all right, cool, drop shipping. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the thing. I'm going to make money drop shipping. And then like that spiraled into like learning about building. What, what year was this? This was in 2018. 2018. Wow. So you, that's so recent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you're like 18 years old or what? What's like <laughs> <laughs> I was, I don't know. I think I was, what was that? Five years ago. And I'm 25 now. I was like 20. Okay, so you're 20. Yeah. Going to college. Yeah. And you saw an ad on Lambo. You said, let's go. Do I was you, like, do you want to talk mm -hmm. about who the person was or do you remember? I even don't even app? remember. And I bought the course too. Oh. I don't even remember the guy. I don't remember. I think it was like Nick or something. I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember the course. Okay. Yeah. But well, you remember the Lamborghini? I remember the Lamborghini. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he has a Lamborghini. I don't have a Lamborghini. I, I want to make money to buy a Lamborghini. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that was like my logic. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously, you know, it changes the logic. But that was it. I just wanted to make money online. And I got the course. Um, I started to get into that world. I dived into like social media a lot of people were making money online and then that's it i didn't really have my ma massive success until we met mm. okay so right. you continue to be the broke college kid until you forgot someone to put you in shape yeah i made a little bit of money <laughs> <laughs> exactly i made a little bit of money to like where i like quit my job but it wasn't okay. a lot you know well okay by that time were you making any money like what was your job like it was like three thousand dollars a month okay yeah okay, cool. I'm fine. I mean, yeah. Look, yeah. a lot of people, if they can make $3,000 a month, yeah. that's something. So Exactly. Fine. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, like, that was, like, my thing. I was like, you know what? I just got to figure out how to quit my job and, like, just make $3,000 a month online. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that was so it. So, you got there and then? And then I was a senior at university and Leo slid in my DMs. Oh. <laughs> and he was like, we should get together and talk about marketing. Mm. So, we get together and... He pretty much is like, yeah, like, I'm an entrepreneur. I do this drop shipping thing. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good pickup line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he was like, hey. <laughs> I was like, so interesting. I like what he's doing. But since we had just, like, really started talking and we kind of just started dating, I didn't want him to think that I was only with him for drop shipping and I didn't mm -hmm. want him to think I was <laughs> leeching off of him, right? <laughs> so... I started doing my own research and I ended up starting my own store and I started making money on my own. Mm -hmm. And then a couple months later, I told him, I was like, I'm drop shipping too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So she started a store behind my back. Okay. And I was like, what? It's crazy. And she actually got sales. That's mm -hmm. the thing that blew my mind. Cause like, no, one... <laughs> that's really sexist. Like, no. That's really sexist. No. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't sexist. I was just like, wait, why? So, so, so wait, so hold on. Did you like teach her things or did you sign up for a course? Like how, how did you make it work? Like I introduced her into the world, but I, mm. I don't ever recall teaching her anything. Mm. Yeah. Like at all, especially in the beginning. So like, I was like, maybe like, Hey, this is a store. This is like, maybe like ads. Um, she was doing like Google ads and I was doing Facebook ads. Mm -hmm. And I think I gave her like a hundred dollars one day. And I was like, Hey, like 
try like here's a hundred dollars to, to go like launch google ads but like i never really taught her anything okay. what was your what's your take on it um there was this guy his name is tristan broughton uh-huh. and he had released a google ads course and i was like i'm getting this course you know because leo was doing facebook ads and he's really good at facebook ads but again i felt like if i went that route i would be asking him a lot of questions mm. and then like our relationship would turn more like transactional mm. i didn't want that mm-hmm. so i was like okay so since he's doing facebook ads i'm gonna go and learn google ads with this course at the same time i was going to university and i was learning seo i was learning google ads at school and through the course. So I was able to make like Google ads work really well for me. I was making like my own money at that point. Mm-hmm. And he was running his store with Facebook ads doing, making his money. Okay. So, okay. Which, what was better for learning Google ads? University or the course that you got? They worked hand in hand. Really? Yeah. Like, and so I. So you actually learned something in university? Yeah. I went to a really good university. Okay. I stand behind my university. Okay, okay. I went to USF St. Pete. Oh, nice. Yeah. So while I was learning Google ads, at university, we were learning SEO. So now I was ranking all of my products really high up in Google Shopping, whereas other people who probably didn't know SEO because they didn't learn it, it wasn't in the course, they weren't ranking as fast as I was. Mm. So there was a point in time that all of my products were ranked in like the first five. Hmm. And what, guys, what, you have to talk about categories. These are products you're not selling anymore. No. No. Okay, so no. what, so like what was like the, you know, for you start actually like what products what are we talking about here yeah. um a keychain reusable straw it's like a oh, yeah. little keychain and I you pull that. it out and like the straw would come out mm-hmm. yeah i was selling a crystal water bottle which is like a glass water bottle and in the middle is like a healing stone crystal oh and then my first like product that actually made me profit was mm-hmm. a dinosaur purse it was like i believe kate spade or something had like released a dinosaur i was selling a dupe for it like and yeah, like you just made you okay you get an alibaba or something exactly one that looks so much similar but yeah. it's not a copyright i didn't know mm-hmm. that she was selling it all i knew is that i hopped on the trend exactly when i was supposed to yeah, yeah. so that's when you started making money because of course you can make sales and literally lose money exactly, exactly. yeah I was yeah. losing money with the keychain straw. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I, was, <laughs> I lost money. I was learning. <laughs> no, yeah. That's the biggest thing. We, we, I mean, we learned through losing a lot of money. So you know? what was your, what was the products that you start with? The Honestly, I sewed a privacy screen protector. That was like the first product I ever like sold. For laptops or for phones? Or? For phones. For phones. On the internet. Like that was the first product. I didn't even know what I was doing. Mm-hmm. I was like getting shout outs. I was make, running Facebook ads. I was doing it all just to get like a couple sales. Mm-hmm. And then I thought the product like had died. <laughs> like, well, it never started or never got alive, no? Yeah, it never like took <laughs> okay. off. But I was like, ah, oh, that product's just dead. No one wants yeah. it. <laughs> the whole internet just doesn't want it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I moved on. And then the product that actually, funny enough, helped me quit my job was a gear shift keychain, right? And it was this like little car product that like you could like swap and move up and down the gears. Mm-hmm. And that product got me to a thousand dollars a day in revenue, which was two hundred dollars in profit. And I remember it clearly. That's all I needed to quit my job. That's right. That's like 60 grand a year right there. Yeah. That's uh, that's amazing. Yeah. That was it. That was a product. And how long did that last? Like, OK, so you made that. This is drop shipping. You don't own the you don't you don't you didn't design anything. No, right? I didn't design. You don't anything. have a brand name. You don't have, brand? No, no. You don't have a trademark. Uh, and you don't have any organic sales. No. Nope. Okay, so <laughs> nothing. Good, th- guys, this is drop shipping. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> and it, it's so, not but, even drop shipping. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. like a it's like a like a cash cow. Like okay. it's not even. I don't even think that was drop shipping. No. At the time. So so but but it's someone else's product. You sell it and then you, they ship it. No. I mean, yeah. Consider drop shipping. No? Yeah, but I like consider drop shipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but it's like newbie drop shipping. You're like so no newbie, worse. like okay. so newbie. People often ask me, "Hey, can I sit down with you one on one? Let me." Pick your brain, get whatever info from you on how to sell on Amazon, how to get started. Well, guess what? You can sit one-on-one with me for more than three hours on my mini course, AaronCordovas.com slash start. And I will sit down with you one-on-one and give you all the info that I think you need to get started on Amazon. If you're having success on Amazon, you probably have cash to invest, right? The next level after making it big on money is investing. You have to be able to invest to get really wealthy. I've created a fund where you can put your money into Amazon brands. And because e-commerce is growing, Amazon is growing, and you have operators who know what they're doing, your chance of success on your investment is pretty high. I've created this fund because I do not want people to get burned and where I can put my own money alongside of your money to invest in the best brands that exist right now. Go to AaronCordovas.com slash invest.
if you want to find out more and you are an accredited investor. But how long did that product keep making you money? So $200 a day, but like for how long? Like 60 days. <laughs> <laughs> and then after I was calling my mom, I was like, hey, can I borrow some money? Was, not just was, your mom. I was, I, was, I, was, I was sitting around, I was like, can I borrow... Can I borrow more money? Like, I don't have enough money. Okay. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I went through some rough times. Wow. Yeah. And it's crazy because at this time, I was still getting to know you. And I was like, oh, he's rich. Like, I'm trying to be like this. You know, yeah. I need the, my store to start pushing so I can yeah. be like Leo. Yeah. <laughs> and then he's asking you for money. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yo, I need $2,000. I promise I'll pay it back by Monday. <laughs> Oh. Hey, I paid it back though. Okay, he did. So every got, single okay, time. Okay, yeah. so you trusted him. That's good. Yeah. Relationship is built on trust, right? Correct. Okay, so so you <laughs> you let your 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 you thought you were a rich uh, boyfriend two grand, <laughs> um, and then so what you what you do with that money? What you what, did you start a new store and then hope it was gonna go or what's the Yeah, thing? we just kept building different stores and then right after that you started testing the nose pore vacuum. Ah, the nose pore vacuum, no success. The nose. The, Spore vacuum. Nose, nose pore. pore vacuum. Oh, nose spore. So it's like it's a, not for the pores in your nose. It is. It is. Oh, so it kind of like sucks it out. Okay. Yeah. I need some of that. <laughs> Same. Same. <laughs> okay. Everybody okay. on the internet thought so too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then like, n like I didn't have success with that either. You like, didn't. Okay. Like I had sales, but I it wasn't like success where I was like I'm making money consistently hmm. or I'm making like at least some type of like more money than three thousand dollars a month mm -hmm, like that was mm -hmm. where like the break even that was a i mean like in. yeah it's better than a regular job correct okay fine so so you're like you're eating shit basically yeah <laughs> right and then margarita comes to save the day or what yes yeah my yes. store was pushing because okay. i had the just the google ads running any product that i saw going viral on facebook i was adding it to my store and running google ads to it because mm -hmm. a lot of people weren't on there mm -hmm. at that point but it's hard to scale with google ads because people have to be actively looking for your product mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so one day, we were at Leo's mom's house. He still lived with his mom at that point. And Leo was taking a shower. And I was just doing product research on his computer. And I found the 9-in-1 push-up board. So it's like this little... It's a push-up machine that allows you... To, it's a, It does... It helps you do push-ups correctly. Like okay. you could like work out like your different It's all together. Parts. It's yeah. not like yeah. separated. I've seen like... I have one that's like two little bars, but they're separate. This is one all together. Yeah, one yes, all together. Correct. And... I looked at that product and I was like, we are rich. Like, this is it. Like, <laughs> okay, okay. everything. Yeah. Leo gets out of the shower. He's still in his towel. I'm like, I just found the product. We're about to be rich. Yeah. And yeah, after that product is when we decided to do it together, do business together. Because like, I don't know. We just had this feeling like this is our product. Mm. We are like, we're set yeah, for life. You're together, but you're doing di different stuff. Mm hmm now you know you're not you're not gold digging the guy because he's broke as hell <laughs> so like you, no, nothing to worry about right so like it's all good it worked together yeah and then like i had my skills he had his skills and i was mm -hmm. like we finally have this product that i know for a fact is going to work out mm -hmm. if we just do this together we are going to be just so much more mm -hmm. successful but, but okay now explain to me why did you believe in that product like what are the things that you're looking at to say this like well, this is it like what what gave you that confidence in that product it had wow factor, solved the problem, and it already had proof on Facebook. There were already people running it up, and they had millions of views, comments. You know, when you look at an ad comments, and they're like, oh, my God, I need this. Just bought this. Mm -hmm. Like, all those comments. It was giving me all the green flags. Mm. Yeah. And like, a lot. A yeah. lot of green flags. Okay. Like, all the things also prior. Like, we were testing so many products, so we got to see the products that didn't work and the products that did work. So, we're like, you know what? Like, this is giving us like all like the the, the stars were aligning, mm -hmm. you know, with this product, mm -hmm. like the literally what she said. So good. Yeah. So it's crazy because it had been a couple months and Leo had been pushing like, yo, we should do this together. We should do this together. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to mix relationship. I don't want to mix money. I don't want to miss mix, mix business. Mm -hmm. And then once I saw this product, I was like. <laughs> okay, oh, fine. Let's do it. Let's okay. like just go yeah. all in the on right it. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. So we started selling the product, and this is when we ran into our first fulfillment issue. Especially with drop shipping, the faster you sell it and the faster you scale, the better, because then it won't allow competition to really come in like that. Mm -hmm. And at the time, we didn't have like a, the best relationship with suppliers, and our order ended up getting like delayed for two months yeah. so so and explain to me your order because 
in this case, you're not. Are you buying in bulk no. or you're just buying one by one? So your order may, means what? Like individual customer orders? Yes. Okay, so you had. Give me, give me, give me the idea of the scale of this. Okay, so I mean, it was the first product that changed our life, right? So I think we made eighty thousand dollars in a month for something seventy. I, I think it was actually like sixty-five. It was sixty-five. Okay. Yeah, I just can't remember the number. And that's it like what? How many ago. is that? That's like a thousand units. Let me see. So no I idea. But like, it was definitely the product that like changed our life. So we were like, you know what? Like, whatever. Let's just find a supplier to fulfill this product. And... Did you sell it before you found the supplier? No. Yeah. Yes. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is. This is weird. Yeah. Okay. You don't know how much the product is going to cost you. We you don't have a supply. You have an idea. Yeah. You're like, I guess one person on Alibaba says 60 bucks or yeah. 20 bucks, whatever. Mm -hmm. How much, what do you think it was going to cost you? How much did you think? It, it was, was probably going to be like. I think it cost us like 24. Yeah, so you 20 think it's going to cost you 24, but you haven't talked to suppliers. Nope. You can't even confirm that they have in stock or that they'll drop ship for you. Yep. You know nothing. And you put up a store and you start selling. And we're just okay. cranking that up. We're like, let's sell more of it. So, <laughs> what, okay, whoa, whoa. Ooh, ooh. Oh my God. This like, looking so back, yeah. we were kind of I know, dumb. it's this scary. Is scary. So, so, you get orders, you sell maybe, you, how much you sell in a day? Like, your first day, you remember? Uh, no. Approximate, but like 10, 20, 100, something. Maybe it, 10. Maybe something. 10. So, but it was so profitable. Right, right, because you sell it for. We were not selling it for that much. I think we were selling it for like 40. 44, 44. Well, how, how, how do you sell it for 44, buy it for 25? You didn't even know. We had no idea what we were doing. We just wanted to get sales <laughs> oh, and we just wanted to get our foot into it. You know, just like start sloppy okay. and then yeah. figure it out from okay. there instead of okay. like trying to get everything perfect Good. until you it launch. Was... Like just launch. Wow. Well, the start, really the, you started sloppy. Mm -hmm. Very Fine. sloppy. <laughs> uh, now you go. Good. You have orders. You have dozens of orders and you have no supplier. No Pretty more. much. Okay, and the, and so then what happens? And even if we could find a supplier, it was too expensive for us. And if we were to fulfill with the suppliers we found, we would be like very negative. Right, because <laughs> if it costs you twenty five bucks, and then shipping, how much is shipping a product like that to the customer? It was I, oh, the product itself was like twelve, and then the shipping was twelve too. So it was like oh, it was yeah. like that. Okay, yeah. So the but total. Then, well, so why would you be negative? From ads. From ads. From ads. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then did you fulfill it or you just canceled it? Like, Eventually, oh, yes. We finally found a supplier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that wasn't the best supplier. Actually, I don't even know if it was if the products even came, to be honest. That's to how the customers? It, like you, they, you came, what? they it was, came late. And it okay. and it came bad. It was like really bad product quality mm. too. So like yeah. That, that was our that first was... big mistake, but our first big lesson. Yeah. Really, really cheap products, really, really bad products horrible customer experience like i would never shop from our first store ever yeah and we got <laughs> i'll tell you this is why i like i love amazon mm -hmm. and we live in the amazon world because you won't you'll never have that happen mm -hmm. because there's a bunch of reviews mm -hmm. you know like if it, if you're taking a chance you know okay it has zero reviews or like five reviews you're gonna take a chance and you know you're taking a chance you have someone's website some ad you have no idea what you're gonna get correct no on the customer's point of view like, it was a total scam and this and whatever. And in a way, I don't know yeah. if it was, but at the same time, you guys are <laughs> honest people and you, you tried to make it right and you were trying to fulfill it. You just, mm -hmm. it was a sloppy launch. But yeah. at the end of the day, you didn't ruin anybody's life. No. You know I mean? no. We definitely got chargebacks. And mm -hmm. if people ask for a refund, they got their refund. Yeah. You know, we weren't like, no, you can't have your refund. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, first big mistake. We have not made that mistake since. <laughs> Let's yeah. just say that. So how long did that product go keep going? So you have one that was hot. Boom, 60 grand out of the gate first month. Boom, dies off next month. Yeah, pretty much. I think it lasted maximum 90 days. Yeah. But that was our fault again mm -hmm. because we were, our ads were videos that we found on the internet from our competition. We just downloaded it and started running it as ads as our own. <laughs> oh, shit. We slapped our logo on it too. We're like, that's oh. our video. But this is common. Yeah. This is so it, common mm -hmm. in, in this space, right? Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, again, unlike Amazon, where mm. you look it up and you find it, you don't know. Someone could be running Facebook ads to some random people in some random city. You'll never see it. So people use your videos. You don't even know. Right. Exactly. You, and they put logos and put stuff. So you're doing, I mean, illegal, but common. 
Crap. I mean, like, yeah. fine. So, so yeah. what happened? You got like a DMCA complaint? No, or but or? the ads just stopped performing profitably. Okay. So we were like, oh, no one is interested in this product anymore. <laughs> Where it was just the ads, and yes. we didn't think about like, oh, maybe we should start making our own content, mm. and maybe like now that we have sales, we can reinvest into like maybe getting an influencer. You or did someone. not think about this. Nothing. Okay. No, like we, those were not opportunities that came to our head. So you just thought is oh again people when you don't know you just think of an answer you feel comfortable with oh the trend is over mm-hmm. that people exactly. do all the time oh amazon is too saturated oh e-commerce is impossible oh, like people get these ideas because they don't know any better yeah so you just got oh trend is over yeah exactly oh but it's you too didn't saturated check Google trends or you didn't check you know obviously like okay good so you said no no done. we're, we're like to the side yeah the video's done that means there's no one's interested in the entire internet to buy this product yeah um and that's it that, that was like our logical thinking and i i don't know why i think like that's so naive you mm-hmm. know but that's but like, like what everyone on youtube was saying yeah yeah oh for about this product or just in general just in general like, like that was the course training do this the ad stops go to another product exactly mm-hmm. that's what people that's what the gurus tell you yeah that was what the gurus oh. told us yeah so like, that's all we that's knew that's the all course we, knew. we bought or the people on youtube if they said that if it's not selling anymore, it's saturated, move on to the next product. That's what we were going to do. Interesting. But now we know that if anything happens, just refresh your creatives. Right. Mm-hmm. Because there's still that, the still, you know, you said something that was important, which was it solves a need, right? Mm-hmm. It's solving a need. That need is still going to be there. People yeah. are going to need push ups or whatever, like for, for the rest of the time. Like, yeah. That's going to happen. 100%. So if you can be smart enough on how to do it and something that solves it, like you should be able to make some sales. Um, and of course, if you always move on to the next one, when it doesn't work, you'll never have any product that's worth anything or any brand or any recognition or, I mean, you'll have nothing, no? If you follow that mentality. Exactly. Exactly. So, okay, good. So then what did you do? What was... So this was 2019 and between 2019, 2020, we were just consistently like testing products, making a little bit of money, didn't work out, move to the next product, mm-hmm. test it, make a little bit of money, didn't work out, move to the next one. So we were kind of just like testing a whole bunch of different products not really finding a winning product you know mm-hmm. in drop shipping like you're mm-hmm. waiting for that one product that's going to take you from like zero to a hundred thousand mm-hmm. dollars mm-hmm. so we like tried to do a streetwear brand we were selling <laughs> women's clothes we were just like trying to sell absolutely anything anything we saw someone selling we tried to sell it okay okay so and honestly the startup cost to try to sell it is very little because you don't have to buy inventory right no nope. yeah. so you just go you see an ad how long does it take you from seeing an ad to put it online and offer it? From seeing an ad, making the content, or even downloading the content, to putting it on your store, and then running that same ad and getting sales, that's probably like 48 hours. Right. And that's like the crazy thing right. about like drop shipping. And I don't think there's another vertical that you could do that. You I mean, know? It's, it's really fast. That's mm-hmm. and It's insanely fast. That's also why it welcomes competition. Mm-hmm. You know? But then at the same time, it's like you're running a shitty business. Like it's a really bad business yep. because you're like, you're just quick to come, quick to go, quick to come, mm-hmm. quick to go. Like you're just done. It's like, okay, cool. Like that's like someone else's video. That's someone else's product. Yeah. That's if you're someone downloading else's... someone else's video, I mean, again, th- this is, it's just an unethical business. I mean, yeah. At that mm-hmm. point. Like, if you're downloading someone's content, like again, the Chinese people do that all day long. <laughs> I, I mean, it's true. Like that's just, that, that does happen. Yeah. And over there, the laws are also different too. Mm-hmm. But anyway, okay. So fine. So you, so you eventually learn this, I guess. Yes. It took us a long time. Long time. Yeah. I yeah. like. I think that, like now that we have our own brand with our own content, and we're actually running like a good business, yeah. like White Hat. Like looking back at like the things that we used to do before, we're like we were dumb, mm-hmm. but we didn't have money. Mm-hmm. You know, we were both broke. Like, our parents couldn't just hand us a thousand dollars to go buy samples, make our own content, mm-hmm. hire an influencer. We didn't have money. We were trying to make ends meet with what we had. Mm-hmm. And what we had was computers and a little bit of ad spend money and a bit of a social media addiction so we could see what people were testing at all mm-hmm. times. So then you put it up and, and like you... I'm just wondering. So you put it up, it makes money for 30 days. The ad goes bad and then that's it. Like mm-hmm. it's over. It's was, fully over. Yeah. It, it seems really just yeah. sad, like a sad story. Yeah. yeah. And, and that's what that's what they call the, the drop shipping world calls it a pump and dump. Mm-hmm. Right. And then that's like where you like pump the product, get a lot of sales and then you dump it yeah, and you move on to this. Okay. But you should figure out like, oh, your profit that day is negative. That's it. It's over. And How many you... people do this? Do you know people who still are doing it just like this and like a lot? A lot. Yeah. It, like good 90% of the entire like dropshipping world does it. 
they all like just test products that's why we try to like come in there and say hey like you could do that or you could do something else which is probably going to build you like make you more money and build you more of an actual company it can be value do something that's actually going to last more yeah. than like yeah. 30, 90 days exactly if 90 days is like your long lasting product <laughs> That's probably a bad. It's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> and like we've gone through it, we've done the worst things that you can possibly do. That's why we're open talking about every single week mistake we've done, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you can do it like that, or you can learn from everything we share with you, all of our the good things that we do, all of the mistakes we make. Like mm-hmm. we share that just so people can learn from it and kind of skip the what three years that it took us to learn that it's not the fulfillment it is not the chargebacks it's not anything it's like us running a bad business Mm. correct Mm -hmm. all right and so then so how did you learn what's the next phase right away from this like run of the mill some random course just kind of like scam people for money kind of i mean again oversimplification but a bad experience for customers what's your next step our next step was so you know, the thing is the next step happened on accident. Hmm. So we we kind of got sick. Like everything that she was saying, like the problems, the customer service, the chargebacks, mm-hmm. the logistic issues, we just got like sick and mm-hmm. we just got like burnt out. Mm-hmm. And Sick and tired of being sick and tired. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And we were doing a pump and dump. We were doing a product where we were just scaling using other people's content mm-hmm. and we were just killing it. I mean, we were a little bit more experienced at the time. So we were doing like half a million dollars a month, Mm -hmm. right? In revenue, which was a lot of money for Mm -hmm. us at the time. And we were like, oh my gosh, like this is an amazing product. You can probably keep this going on for a long time. And then what happened next is that TikTok, uh, the platform that we were advertising us, that, that we were using to advertise actually blacklisted our URL. And what that means is that you once they blacklist your URL, you can't use that URL to advertise. Hmm. Is it a store you've been running for a while or just... That's like you, the one you've been product. using that store for all the products? Well, or for some? Okay, for, some, for yeah. some. We yeah. have been running like that store new... for quite a while. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? We were like, why did TikTok ads blacklist us? Mm-hmm. Like, why? Like, is it like, do we really just like, do they not like us? Mm-hmm. Like, those are the conclusions we mm-hmm. came to. Mm-hmm. We're like... No, I was like, no, Margaret was like, probably we're just running a really bad business. <laughs> mm. And then on accident, out of out of a whim, Margarita was like, you know what? Let's just build, let's take this product, let's move it to a different store. Let's not rip people's content. Let's not steal people's content. Let's make it a good product, a great website, and make content for this and run ads for this product because maybe the product is still alive. You know, maybe the product is still alive. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And keep in mind by this time, like for over a year now, we had already figured out the fulfillment issue. Like mm-hmm. everyone was getting their product. Okay. Yeah. But like, and is, this, is it all still coming from China? Yes. Yes. Okay. And how long does it take for a customer to get the product? 12 days max. Yeah. That's, not a, that's, that's kind of short. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty impressive to be honest from China. Like on mats, it's 10 to 15. Okay. Right. So okay. like okay. 12 hours, days you got it, right? it's not max. bad. It's really not bad. Cool. So fulfillment's figured out. You have a hot product. And then... But now, we, since we can't run ads, we move the product to its own store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This was 24 hours. Mm-hmm. And 24 hours later, we have this brand new store running this product. And I already have the product in hand because we had been selling, like Leo said, half a million a month. So I already have the product. So I start a group chat with all my friends, my neighbors, and I post on my Instagram. I'm meeting up with people in Tampa. Um, I'm going to be paying for you to record a video with my product. So I started getting a bunch of DMs. My friends were like, yeah, no, you don't even have to pay me. So I spend the entire day going around Tampa, meeting up with all my friends and getting custom content of this product. Mm. Finally. Mm-hmm interesting that's a that's a good strategy for content hey come yeah. and we'll hang out and i'll pay you for some content yeah mm-hmm. okay yeah and this is not necessarily influencers you don't even this is no. more like user generated content right just stuff you're going to use doesn't matter how much you have zero followings you have nothing but you're gonna have somebody out in who knows um armature works or something with like doing something with some product exactly okay. like literally that's exactly what happened okay <laughs> okay and then and then now we were there, we were not the first people to sell this product. There were other people selling it. But now we were the only people coming into the market with fresh, new, and original content. Mm-hmm. So immediately, our ads just started doing really good. Mm. And we just kept this strategy going, just getting a lot of content from friends, family, neighbors, whatever, and just pumping content. 
Yeah. Wow. And that was it. That was like the big mistake or the big sick. We were just sick of the the issues. Yeah. 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 Well, and so so honestly, the really the the only change here, the first change, was just your own content. Mm-hmm. Otherwise. Uh no. What, like, what are the next? What's the any and and having good fulfillment? I mean, and good fulfillment. Good fulfillment. Our own content. Um, and building a brand around it. Okay, so you did. Did you did you register your guys' as trademark? Or yes. No? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I know the product. It's a fantastic product, and you guys just had your best month ever. No. Yeah. 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 So guys, talk about. I saw some screenshots on your Instagram, but like, how much did you just make in revenue? Just let's say this last month. We did two. I, hold on, I don't even want to mess it up. What is it? Is it 2.1? I think it was 2.4. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, me- I mess check. it up all the time because I like, I try to like look at the, like the week. Oh, it's 2.3. Okay. 2.3. So uh, 2.3 we asked million me- dollars. Yeah. <laughs> July. Yes. Yeah. We did in the last 30 days, we made $2.3 million. Revenue. That is crazy. That is a ton of money. And, and what's even more impressive is that's up. I mean, you guys like doubled in, in the last three months or something. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, th- honestly, like, this year, like starting January is when we really started to scale. Mm. Yeah. We tried to scale last year, but our business was not lean enough to scale. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the thing we were talking about earlier, like having a lean business, like mm-hmm. those things do not allow us to scale. Yeah. And then like once we started building the brand and like all that, we had like we came across different issues like mm-hmm. teams. Um, so how big is your team? Twelve. Twelve people. Yeah. It's U.S.? Yes. Some um, U.S some philippines and we have two in colombia and so you guys decided to scale and just again it's just been taken off i, I was really impressed like you guys i better watch out you guys are gonna catch up to me <laughs> <laughs> i mean really like i was like damn these guys like double like i have you know we didn't double like that's like a, a really rapid growth and what what did you do differently or how, how did you make that big like jump from you know eight hundred thousand a month boom like to almost two and a half million i think again it was the content we post a lot of content a day, at least 10 videos on TikTok per day that then get repurposed over to Facebook ads. So we run a lot of ads mm-hmm. and our content just started getting better and better. We have like a specific formula. I talk about it on my YouTube okay, channel. What's the formula? Let's go. Oh, the formula. It's hook, proof, product introduction, benefits, unique selling proposition and call to action. Mm-hmm. So like usually if I mean, our that, video... Like, quick, that was like, boom. I yeah, because like... Our... Okay, Dude. hook... The product proof, product introduction, differentiator. Benefits. Benefits, benefits and the call to action. Mm-hmm. And that you can add, like, after benefits, you can add unique selling proposition. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's, like, the, like, right before call to mm-hmm. action. Yeah, so, like, all we your, just... All, all your ads are like this, pretty much. Every most of them. Most yeah. of them. Yeah, some are just, like, sale creatives. Okay. But most of our ads, like, I'll look at an ad that our creator makes, and it didn't do well. And I'm like, of course it didn't do well. You, you did, like, the product introduction was the first thing. Mm. And, like, for example, for TikTok, the most important thing for TikTok is watch time. Yep. If you're not making them wait for it, they're just going to be like, oh, that's the product scroll. Whereas if you're, like, the hook, you entice them, then you show them proof that something, like, got them from here to here. They're like, oh, shit, like, what is it? Like, what is mm. it? Then, like, the watch time. You know, like, if you're just mm. showing them the product off the bat, like, obviously, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, that didn't good, get not viewed. A good first impression. Yeah, so we... Honestly, I think our content is is what has gotten us to this level. We look at a lot of content yeah. all the time. Yeah. Yeah, so like we, a majority of like the things that we do on a day-to-day is for content. Will you guys help us with some ads? Yeah. Of course. Okay, good. So let's I I I want to I want to set this up cuz we have so many products and this is a thing like making ads. That's just its own industry, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You guys study this all day. Mm-hmm. Like every day, you mm-hmm. just know and you and 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 you know what ad to make, and randomly, you just change your ads. The product's the same. You know you've done it, mm-hmm. and and I've seen some of the ads by the way, and I know your product is actually better than the others. So talk about that. Like, what did you do to make your product better? Because I'm assuming that happened at some point. <laughs> yeah. Because I've seen like, you know, you didn't have to do that because you're not selling on Amazon. They don't see the reviews, but I'm sure you do that for your customers, right? You guys are yeah. going to the white hat, and you n- must have a better product. Yes. I think to make it. So talk about how did that whole thing happen? Yeah. So that those are like just stages. So like in the beginning, we made the packaging better. Mm-hmm. And then we took and made, I don't know, like uh, custom inserts. Uh, then we added like a little greeting card. And then we made like a tray. 
And then, like, there was just, like, stages. And then we changed the mode. Mm -hmm. And that's, like, when, like, things started getting really interesting. Because, like, our product was, like, you know, compared to... You know what the difference is because you're getting customer service to people telling you, hey, this happened here, this happened this. Mm -hmm. And you know what could be improved, right? Exactly. You understand it more. And we see the videos that people are tagging us in. Yeah. And, like, we saw, like, for example, like, our box quality. Like, by the time it got to our customer, it was, like crumbled up mm -hmm. because our the density of the box wasn't the best mm -hmm. so we're like okay let's work on the density of the box mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so like just like little things like we just if we saw something that we can fix we would just fix it yeah that's yeah. great yeah and then the product, so you made a new mold and who who did this like designing of like improving it did you guys already know what to improve somewhat we, we knew what to improve or kind of like an idea of what to improve but we then hired an engineer and then we connected that engineer with um, the people in China mm -hmm. that like handled the modes and stuff like that. Wow. And then we got a new mode, new product, and then yeah, it just kind of became into a, a better product in the competition. They sent us like a entire fifty page slideshow on like exactly what kind of things to change. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. How much the mode would cost, wow. estimates, like it was so much information. That's amazing. Amazing. It blew my mind. I was like, what? They can just do this? This is amazing. So, okay. So now your content's better, your product's better, but now you're still tripling your company in less than a year. Correct. Right? What the hell? Like, I don't get it. Just by ads? Like, please. Yeah. Is there, is there one ad that like takes out of the park or just everyone just adds a little bit? Like, how, there, how does this work? I would say also like other channels, like we have like ads, but like other channels that compound themselves. So like a big thing about our brand is affiliates. Mm -hmm. So we have affiliates promoting our products and they get a commission for every single sale they bring in. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened is we we were so on time with these payments every fourth of the month. And like mm -hmm. we just paid yeah. it today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So like the out. affiliate payments, word got out that our brand started paying big bucks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it started attracting other affiliates and other influencers to promote our product. Mm -hmm. And that in itself compounded. And now we have a big affiliate program where people are making a lot of money. They get a slice, they get a slice of the pie and we get a slice of the pie. And we get their content. And we get their content. And that that's also huge. Oh, because if they do an ad, they do a, they do a TikTok, that thing goes well. Yeah. Part of your agreement is you have that video. It's or, an ad or how to sort of or? It's not, yeah okay. it's not an agreement but they're more likely to be like yeah repost it and like we can run ads to it for like 70 bucks because they're already making commission out of it you know mm. yeah so if you use your video are you using their code too no not not always so. no just their video mostly mm -hmm. the content so what are you saying 70 bucks what does that mean for like for Spark usage ads. yeah for usage oh okay okay like hey i'm gonna buy the rights for i'll yeah. pay you one exactly. time okay yeah, yeah. that's yeah. that's brilliant uh wow so how much what percentage of your income is coming now from affiliates if you're if you're hoping to say that it's still small it's like i think it's like 15 percent now yeah, okay. yeah. it's still, still small I mean, but it's still it's... massive that's mm -hmm. still like that's like three hundred thousand dollars it's a it's a big amount for like a for a store because like compared to like other affiliate programs that i've seen it's not nearly but like it's 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 still like growing you okay. know our goal is to just continue it like grow and it'll grow in itself you know we keep making the payments keep showing people that they can make money they keep getting paid mm -hmm. they're like they're not going to stop promoting the product yeah 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 <laughs> you know okay and how do you how did you get your first affiliate so now okay words out you guys pay you guys pay on time you pay a lot the brand, product's doing well the branding is there it's not just like a flyby product now how did you get your first ones? Because, like, for me, I would love to, like, we have coffee machines. Like, I'm like, I'll pay people affiliate, yeah. you know. But how do I? It's just hard. I, it's hard because I don't know it. Yeah. Correct. We don't know the affiliate model. Okay. How would I get someone to sign up and actually work to try to? Well, also, first of all, sorry, we haven't done it ourselves. So it's hard mm -hmm. for us to tell it to somebody else. I only know how to sell on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So if I tell someone, hey, sit on your site, I have zero confidence they're going to be able to do it because we have trouble doing it on our own website. Okay. So maybe is that like the first step, like us figure out how to promote it to then tell it to the people or, or, or no? We didn't promote it. So mm. we were actually unprofitable with Lead Dino, which is the affiliate pro platform that we use for the mm -hmm. first three or four months. Okay. Mm -hmm. But every single time that a customer had their delivery notification, we have a flow with text message and Clavio, which mm -hmm. is our email marketing that invites them to the affiliate program. Like, hey, I see that you oh, received when they, your product. When they buy it. Yeah. You tell them, come to the affiliate program. Yeah. So not only do affiliates Whoa. get 
invited, but like customers. customers. All of them. Every single Everyone. customer gets invited to That's it. right away. That's one of the first things they get yeah. or not? After the product is delivered. Correct. Delivered, boom, become an affiliate? Affiliate. Exactly. And you'll see just so many customers because it'll grow. Like there'll be so many people like so many women, so many men on TikTok, just literally they'll post the content and they'll post the affiliate link. And you know they're an affiliate because they'll post the affiliate link. Wow. Like, oh, okay, cool. They're making a lot of content for us. That's brilliant. Because we don't, do, we have so many people on Clavio on this, on many channel, whatever, and we, we hardly know what to even do with these people. Yeah. I mean, I'm telling you, we, we, we live on Amazon. So yeah. we just invite them all. Hey, do an affiliate. And what's an affi- what's the affiliate program do you use? Not Lead Dino anymore. You guys use we something else. We still use Lead Dino. Yeah. Use Lead Dino. Lead Dino. Yeah. Okay, so and we, we say, hey, them- sign up here, and you'll get X commission on everything on our Shopify site. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. You can set up the settings, and sometimes I'm we'll ready have- to get the little your template or whatever. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's like ten percent or like minute or average starting. Are starting, and then like we have our super affiliates for like fifteen and higher. Um, we're doing that like today. Yeah. This is this is on this is on the plan. That's <laughs> happening. We're like, <laughs> why not? Hey, you you love your whatever. You love your lemon squeeze. You love your milk froth. You love whatever. Mm-hmm. Sell it and make some money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And half of it, though, is also like you said, like what is required? I think half of it is also being on social media. Mm. So like that has also helped because like like Margarita said, like the affiliates kind of came to us. Like our biggest two affiliates right now that are like one made like two thousand dollars in commission in three days and the other one makes like six thousand dollars a month from just like promoting mm-hmm, this product mm-hmm, mm-hmm. those both of those affiliates came to us just because we were posting on social media you know they but they like, have a business they promote a lot of products or no they're like an the influencer yeah, okay. like they have like a big following things okay. like that but they saw it on social. social media and they're like you know what let, let me just sign up for this affiliate program and then boom Interesting. right so like we attracted them we didn't really like reach out to them or anything like that wow okay so for it's a big deal facebook ads google ads and what about platforms anything that's like hot right now i mean tiktok i guess right tiktok's your top yeah yes, and TikTok. what are your like top channels could you share that like what are the best channels for you right now you want to go okay uh <laughs> well just like the online store 100 percent. yeah affiliates tiktok facebook google and then it's like pinterest and that's it. That's, <laughs> that's it. All, huh? That's okay. all it is. And organic. Oh, and organic. That's like huge. Search. I'm guessing like SEO, like organic. What does that mean? Like organic. TikTok organic. TikTok, oh, TikTok organic. organic. Sorry. Okay. I'm yeah. like old school. I'm like, I'm an old fart over here. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking organic is like, you know, SEO. No, no, no. Interesting. Okay. So your whole business is built on social, yeah. built on content, content and a great product. Yeah. What do you think? And, and this is again, speculation, but if you wouldn't, hadn't improved your product, and you just had the same product. What do you think your 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 social? What do you think your ads? What, what do you think your business would be at if you hadn't actually made the product like significantly better than your competition? It would. It just wouldn't be as good. Yeah, because we sell it higher than everybody else, mm-hmm. so we can't charge a premium price and sell the same product right. that everybody else sells. Like we had to continuously improve it so we can charge more, especially with like advertising prices going up and like just wanting higher margins. We were like, if we we need to improve the product in order to sell it for more and have higher margins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. And did that happen? You put it up and then you just raise the price like kind of right away? Yeah. We'll run sales when we're like increasing our price. That's like one of our biggest things. Like we'll run a sale like price is going to increase soon or this is the last time it's going to be 30% off or whatever. And then we'll increase the price. So like we'll get like the, we'll squeeze. Maybe a little boost. Yeah. Get you, squeeze mm-hmm. it and, and then now it's up. Yeah. yeah. We're consistently yeah. trying to increase the price or seeing how we can add more value so we can bring the price up. Okay. And then what about, what's your plan in terms of launching either other brands or more products? So now you guys have like a great business. You have a great following, great brand. What do you, what's, what do you, where do you take it from here? Retention is like a big thing that we're working on. We're adding a lot of new products and products specifically that we can do monthly recurring revenue with. Mm -hmm. So for example, our current product is something that you only buy one time and then you're never going to shop with us again. So then we started adding other products that were again just like a one-time purchase so one of our big like goals for quarter one was to add monthly recurring revenue products mm-hmm. and that's how we're um, no, i love that same with us with like retention. we sell coffee machines we want to add coffee yeah. right mm-hmm. we haven't done it yet but that's a key point because there's so many ways to sell in hard goods and it's like good because they can understand it but mm-hmm. the recurring revenue is of course a higher is like a really strong 
Yeah. Well, I love that move. And, and what about like, sorry, what about new stores and stuff? Like, are you not doing any of that, right? You guys are pretty much you're good. You found home, you found your identity. You know. I mean, we like we like e-commerce and we like other stores, and we'll probably do like consulting or something like mm-hmm. that. But right now, we're like 100% focused on our. Yeah, you brand. guys, you guys are booming. Yeah. You don't need to why go yeah. chase a new mm-hmm. thing. And there's yeah. still so many things that we haven't done. And whenever we look at our store, we like see so much potential. Mm-hmm. And eventually, we do want to exit, mm-hmm. but once we do, like, all the little things that we want to do to it, you know? Yeah. Like, I want to see how far we can take it. Yeah. And then eventually, we do want to, like, maybe not run a bunch of different stores, but maybe invest own, or something. Yeah, invest in them and, like, coach and mentor and, like, give our insight to other people. Yeah, mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah, we know there's stores. opportunity, too. Yep. We use this app. It's called Shop Hunter. Mm-hmm. And then there's like a, I wouldn't say competitor, but someone right in the space and they're like making like easy 18, 20 million dollars a month. And we're like, okay, well, there's a lot of room mm-hmm. to grow. I thought you guys were like the top, the top sellers, the top brand. For the product? Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. But not in the niche. Not in the yeah. niche. Okay, good, good. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so you're, but you're not lo- looking to add more, just more products with the kind of same branding or around that, the brand. Which makes sense. I mean, again, yeah. there's big, big companies that always add lines. Like Nike's always, okay, they're adding blah, they're adding this, they're going to do gummies, they're going to do more than just shoes. Mm-hmm. Exactly. But just keeping that brand. Yeah. Okay, great. And then so, fine. Oh, burning question. The top, the most important thing. What's the plan with Amazon? What's the deal <laughs> with Amazon? I mean, like you guys, your brand is so known. Like, how do you look at Amazon where now you have your product is the best your reviews will be good mm-hmm. most most drop shipping people avoid Amazon because and, I, and I've seen it when you go to Amazon your product gets terrible reviews because the product is bad yeah that honestly I've seen drop shipping people and that's generally the problem and I've tried to work with one guy to bring his stuff on mm-hmm. the products are so bad <laughs> and that product gets three stars all day long right yeah. but since your product is good like what is your thought process about Amazon and moving the brand to Amazon I don't know. It's just a stepping stone. I think, I think like once we get U.S. like fulfillment, like secured, Ooh. then we can probably proceed to Amazon. But I think like first we got to get U.S. fulfillment like a hundred percent ready for our brand mm-hmm. before yeah, we, we move to. We've barely figured out the stock situation yet. Yeah, like, like we're just now dealing with inventory and like, issues, like not having enough maybe capacity or something. Like no, just running out faster than we expect. Like we don't know how to project how much to order yet yeah like mm. forecasting or whatever i don't know what that is but <laughs> yeah. okay so fine so look i'll tell you you know we have fulfillment right here we have a fulfillment that we actually will do for people right here in florida oh really okay so if you wanted to mm-hmm. just say i'm putting this out there you order like a few a thousand units 500 units, something we could ship it and fulfill it right here out of our warehouse and just do an additional order to everything you have so if you run out of your other stuff <clears> hey this inventory is separate Okay. We'll help you guys get started. Really? I'm serious. We got a warehouse right here. Ship it in. You also have some inventory locally if you ever need it. It's actually pretty good. And yeah. it's open. Yeah, I mean, no, Am- thank like, you. Amazon's a humongous market. And there's a, there's, by the way, if you have a, fil- uh, this is one thing we've noticed, right? Just to share with you guys. Mm-hmm. There's some, sometimes people c- go like crazy doing, you know, what you guys do mm-hmm. with a product. So there's like this, for example, this like, um, this garlic roller. It's like a garlic press, mm-hmm. but it's like a little roller. Yeah. Okay. Every so often, there'll be someone who does like a Facebook ad campaign and they get like 2 million views, 3 million views, 5 million views, and they make a killing, right? Yeah. Every time that happens, the sales go crazy on Amazon for other brands. Not even that brand, for other brands. Mm-hmm. So the overall volume, like we have right now the number one garlic press. Okay, it's actually a press, not a roller. Like not the rolling thing, okay. not the rocker. It's called the garlic rocker. When this garlic rocker goes viral, Number 10, 20, 30, 50, all the garlic presses down there that have the rocker, they all boost and they go to like number one, two, three, four, and five. They get probably tens of thousands of units sold in like maybe a week. Wow. And it's not the brand that's advertising mm-hmm. on Facebook, mm-hmm. but it gets created, this demand gets created. And even though the store exists, there's this fallout sales on Amazon, massive. Mm. So there's going to be a customer that looks at your media and wants to buy and they're like i don't buy on websites Mm -hmm. i'm gonna go to amazon and buy it and if you're not on amazon i would assume they're now gonna buy someone competitors even if the product is not not as good Mm -hmm. you know it's not you guys yeah but just you know just think about that yeah yeah think about it it, that happens yeah it's like it's like not having google 
like that's how i think about it like mm-hmm. not having like that retargeting on google not having the seo not having that running yeah i you appreciate guys, it you guys open to it i i think so eventually eventually, eventually. okay yeah. all, right, all right it's all good it's all good all right okay so if people want to find out more about you know how to get started with drop shipping that what you guys have done right how do they find you how do they learn more they can find us on Instagram or TikTok, preferably Instagram. <laughs> and my Instagram at is Miss Margarita. Yeah, and mine's Leo nice. Yeah, and there you can either reach out to us via DM or in the link of our in our bio, you can find our A through Z course, which we do live Q and A's every month, and we teach you how to get started from literally zero to your first ten thousand dollars with our course. Boom, boom, guys! It's been amazing having you. Yeah. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for having yeah, us. I really appreciate it. Thank you.